Okay, this time we talk about the resistive network analysis. So only the resistor in the circuit. Okay, only resistor in the circuit. And mostly we will talk about the DC circuit, DC source, which is DC uh, voltage source and current source, right? So if you read the books, it will be in chapter three. Uh, resistive network analysis. So, uh, in this chapter, uh, is the important content is on the node voltage method and mesh voltage method, node and mesh analysis. Okay, and then uh, we will talk about principle of superposition. You never learn about this? No. Okay. I don't think so, right? No, not in physics. So in physics, you learn some circuit analysis, right? But maybe not node and mesh. Maybe so. Not some uh, uh, some professor they, they they teach physics class including node and mesh, right? No, yeah. no not never learn. And then uh, another important is the two-part network, Thevenin and Morton theorem. I will talk about Thevenin and Newton theorem. Okay. Ah. Okay. When we talk about node voltage analysis, this means that the method, this method, we will define the node voltage. The voltage at each node, and usually we will have one left lane node. For example, this circuit we have three nodes. Okay, and when we make one left lane, for example, node C as a left lane, we will get two node voltage, which is VA, uh, VA, and VB. VA is mean V between A and left lane, V, in fact, it's V A C, right? But in this case, we take C as left lane node. It means we, uh, we can say this is zero voltage. Okay. We set, we set V C at zero voltage. Okay. And V B, in fact, this would be V B C. So when we take one left lane, so we will have the remaining n minus one node, right? Only n minus one node. So in this case, we try to find out V A and V B in our computation. So if we compute V A and we get five volt, for example, and V B maybe four volt, this means that the voltage between V the voltage across R3 is 4 volt, right? In this case, this is the meaning of node voltage. Okay, all voltage will be referred to the left lane node. Okay. And then if we apply KCL at each node, if we apply KCL at each node, we can solve for the node voltage. Okay, the KCL will talk about what? Current or voltage? KCL we talk about current, right? We talk about current, but we form the equation in the term of voltage. Equation in term of voltage. Okay, and we solve for unknown voltage. For example, if we uh, define this is VA and this is VB, we take KCL at node A, KCL at A. This means that the current flow into node A is IS, 
right? In this case, so uh, let's say the current flowing in is positive, okay? And this is uh, uh, IS flowing in. And in this case, maybe uh, this is positive This in this direction, and this is positive in this direction. Therefore, IS is uh, minus, right? Minus VA minus VC, which is now we take this left frame, is mean that V A minus zero. Here, this is V C. In fact, divided by R one, right? And for this current, V A minus V B, right? The voltage across R two is V A minus V B. So minus V A minus V B divided by R two is equal to zero. Then we take KCL at node B. What about node B? We can uh, write down the equation that, for example, this is, let's say this is plus VB minus. So VA, VA minus VB divided by R2, right? VA minus VB divided by R2, right here. Minus, right? Minus VB minus 0. VB minus 0. Divided by what? R3 equal to 0. Okay? So if, if we know, if we know IS, if we know IS, if we know the resistance for all resistance, it means we know R1, R2, R2, and R3. How many unknown in the equation? Two unknown. And how many equations? Two equations, two unknown. Therefore, we can find out VA and VB, right? So after we get VA and VB, can we solve for the current flow through R2? It's possible to know this current, right? Yes. And can we solve for this current? Yes. yes. We can we solve for this current? Yes. So the first thing that we try to find out node voltage by applying K. So this is called nodal analysis. We will always get the solution, okay, with this pattern. So it's not so complicated, right? It's become complicated when you have many nodes, right? So if you if you have four node circuit, you will construct two equation with two unknown. If you have four node circuit, you will take one reference, right? And you will construct three equations, right? With three unknown, right? This is the common pattern. So you don't need to think about the complicated analysis, right? Just follow the pattern. Just follow the method, right? There's a, somebody uh, make this computation method for us, right? We don't need to so take KCL this, take KVL this, right? This will make you confused, right? If you try to use node analysis, just take the node voltage as your unknown. Okay. Okay, let's see this uh, example. Okay, in this case, we know all resistors in the circuit. So, uh, the problem is to find all node voltage and branch current 
so it's not so difficult right so how many node in this circuit we have this node right and this another node right and this is also this node right okay so node one so we have node one and node two we take KCL on these two nodes okay and this is the solution Okay, let's see this example, no, uh, no detail here, right? So I will write down the equation for you. So in this case, we define V1 and V2, right? This is V1 and this is V2 and this is referent as zero volt. So for node one, so KCL at node one, so what is the, the equation? So I1, right? I1. Here is I1 minus, 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 right? So minus V1 minus V2, right? V1 minus V2 by R3, right? And it, this is also V minus V1 minus V2 by this is one and R two and here is minus V one by R one is zero, right? Okay. And then for node two, V one, V one minus V two divided by R three in this direction and in this direction is plus V1 minus V2 divided by R2 and flowing out minus right uh, V2 V2 sorry this is V2 V2 over R4 and then I2 right I2 equal to zero so, uh, this is KCL at node 2, right? So we substitute the known value, the known value. So for the first equation, for the first equation, we will get 10 milliampere, right? 10. So be careful about the unit here, right? This is milliampere, this is kilo, right? Okay, so we get 10 milliampere, right? Minus V1 by V2 by R3. R3 is 10K, right? Uh, this is 10 out of 3. Again, V1 by V2 by R2 is 2, right? 2k minus v1 and then r1 1 10 power 3 is 0 and then v1 minus v2 over r3 right r3 is 10 <coughs> k in v1 by v2 2k and then V2 over R4, 2K. And then 50 milliamp equal to zero. Okay, so you can solve these two equation to a node, right? And you will get the solution. Okay, so uh, I usually not. Uh, do not solve for the equation, so you can do by yourself, right? Okay, it's good to go back and practice by yourself. So in this case, you may multiply 10 power 3 into this equation. 10 power 3 into... 10 power 3 is all through this equation, and this is through the equation, and you make the, uh, the easier to solve, right? Okay. Okay.
not difficult. Uh, okay, come to this equation. So we also have three nodes, right? This is also three node system. Uh, in this case, we have node A and B and left frame zero. Yeah, right. So we know that I A is one milliampere, I B is two milliampere. And I one R one is one kilo ohm, R two, R three, R four. But we know if, uh, every parameter in the circuit, right? Okay. So at the left flank car, right? So in this case, we take KCL at node A and B. So at node A, this is the equation, right? We get I A. I A equal to I A minus right I one here. Yeah. This is I1, in fact, right? This is I1, and this is I2. I2 is VA minus VB, right? And divided by R2, then we get it equal to zero, okay, right? And for node B, node B, this is I3, right? I, no, I2. I2 is VA minus VB. VA, this is I2, right? VA minus VB divided by R2 plus IB. Here, yeah, IB, right? And minus VA divided by R3. I3, uh, I, I4, I4 is VB divided by R4, right? Divided by R4, here. Yeah. So we, if we substitute the parameter, we will get this equation, okay? And we can rearrange this equation into these two equations, okay? And then we can solve for VA. And in this case, VA is 1.667 and VB is 2, right? So after we get VA and VB, we will know all the branch correct. So you, if you solve this one current, 1.667 minus 2 divided by R2, right? So if you get the negative sign, it means that in fact the current will flow in the opposite direction, right? In this case, I2 in, will be flowing in the opposite direction. Yeah. So the node voltage will be easy for the circuit that you have current source. Right? If you have current source, this is easy. But if this is a voltage source, it becomes difficult. Because we don't know what is the current flow here. Right? If you notice that if the circuit have current source, it's easy to use node voltage. Okay. So this is node analysis. When you have voltage source, it's become more complex. Okay. <coughs> Because we will not know the current flow to this voltage source, right? Okay, we don't know this current. Yeah. Okay. So this is the step of computation. One, select the left flame node, usually ground node, and uh, here. Okay. And we define the remaining node, n minus one. Okay. We leave one node at left flame. Okay. So if a node is not connected to the voltage source, then its voltage is treated as independent variable. For example, it's not connected to the voltage source here, right? So VB will be VB as unknown, and VC will be unknown, right? But in this case, what is VA? VA is VS, right? We don't need to solve for VA. In this case, we don't need to solve for you, it's known. Yeah, then we just solve it. It's not very difficult. But if you have one resistor here, it becomes difficult. Okay. Yeah, in this case, VA is known. And we can take K, uh, KCL, right? Only for node B and node C. 
So we don't need to solve for VA because VA is VS, right? Yeah. So for node B, node B, this current, this current, and this current. This current, uh, let's say IAB, right? IAB is VA minus VB divided by R1. Right? This is IAB, right? And this is IB. IB, VB minus, VB minus zero divided by R2. VB minus VC divided by R3, right? It's all, this is okay. And we substitute VA as VS. This is, we, we know this, we know this, we know this. Just two unknown again, right? And for no C, how about no C? This is VB minus VC divided by R3 minus this current, right? And then plus this current IS. This is okay. Then we solve to equation to unknown okay right okay you said that if you do a lot of practice right you need to do homework and exercise a lot okay how about this we know v1 we don't know v2 and v3 we don't know v2 and v3 but we know that V2 and V3, V3 minus V2 is V, is Vs, yeah, it's 3 volt, right, equal to 3 volt, yeah. We know this relation, right, we know this relation, but we don't know V2 and V3. So how about that? Still follow the instruction. So we have this node. We have this node. We have this node, right? Okay, it is I. So in this case, we take KCL at V1 and V2 node. So for node 1, for node 1, the current V3 minus V1, if we say this, that means the current flowing in this direction, right? V2, V2 minus V1 is mean this equation, right? V2 minus V1, right? We do that, okay? You follow. Well, or we can write out if I say this current and this current, what does it mean? It means that this is V1 minus V3 by R1, right? Okay. So in this case, v, V3 minus V1, this means this direction and this direction, right? So we can assume Yeah, we can assume any, right? For example, if I assume this is the current, this is the current, it means that V1 minus V3 by R1 plus V1 minus V2 by R2 and this is if this is positive, this is this is positive also and this is plus I equal to zero. This is the same, you get the same equation, right? Okay, so if you reverse V1 and V2, you get negative sign. You will be negative sign, so you get the same equation, right? Okay. So make sure that you have consistency of direction and sign. Okay, it's really easy to make mistake, right? If you uh, make a mistake at the starting stage, what happened? If you get one sign mistake at the beginning step, what happened? You never get the correct answer, right? After that. Everything is wrong, right? Okay, be careful. Okay. So, this is node one. And how about node two? Node two, we will have V2 
2v1 minus v2 is mean this direction, right? Yeah. And this is direction v2 by r3. v1 minus v2 divided by r2. So we get uh, the uh, the current inject to the node as positive, right? And pulling out is negative. And then minus i. We don't know i yet because this is the voltage source, right? Whatever the current flow to the voltage source, the voltage has to remain constant, right? This is V. Okay. Where I here? I is V3 minus V1 divided by R1 plus V1. This means that we take another KVL, a KCL here. Right? I is here. It's V3 minus V1. V3 minus V1 divided by R1. And here, V3 divided by R4. Okay. Yeah. Then we substitute I. If we substitute I, we get this. Uh, this is I, right? This is I. Minus I. Then we rearrange this equation. We get this equation and this equation. And this, right? Just rearrange the equation. And we substitute V1, uh, V2 and V3, right? V3 minus V2 equal to 3. Then V3 equal to V2 plus 3, right? So we substitute V3 at V2 plus 3. And then we arrange the equation, we will get this equation. Right? V1, V2, V3. Yeah. We substitute V3 by V2 plus V3, like this. Uh, plus 3, right? Plus 3. So it's become 2 equation and 2 unknown, right? And 2 unknown. A little bit more complex, right? Or not, not a little bit. Right? Because we don't know this current, right? We will have voltage source. Okay? It's difficult to solve by node voltage. Then we can get V1 and V2. After that, how about V3? V3 is V2 plus 3. Then we get V3. Yeah. Right. Okay. And we consult for the current. Okay. Current I is also solvable. The current I will be equal to this current plus this current, right? This current and this current. This is V3 minus V1. Okay. okay. Any question so far? So if we have only current source, it's easy, right? But if we have voltage source, Mix with current source in the circuit. It's become a complex, right? Okay. No question? So, okay. I can continue. Okay. Now, come to mesh current analysis. The mesh current analysis is also another method. But in this case, if you have voltage source, only voltage source in the system, it's easier to use mesh current analysis. What is a mesh current? Mesh current is we form the equation in terms of KVL. But the unknown is the current. KVL state about voltage, right? The voltage in the mesh will be zero. 
but before in term of KVL. For example, when we have the circuit, we will define the mesh. The mesh is the loop that not uh, have any mesh inside or any loop inside, right? In this circuit, we have only two mesh, right? But we can also have this loop, right? Okay. But for mesh analysis, we don't we ignore the loop. Okay. We don't talk about loop. We use only mesh. Okay. So if we have another mesh like this, we will have three mesh. Okay. We consider only mesh, not the loop. Okay. So in this case, we have three mesh, right? And in this case, we have two mesh. Okay, for the circuit with two mesh, we define the mesh current I1 and I2. Okay, we define the mesh current as unknown. Okay, as unknown. And we take KVL. For example, mesh. 1 KVL at mesh 1 we will get Vs right this is positive and this is positive negative this is positive right so Vs right in this case Vs Vs minus right minus minus I1 into R1 right in this part, this is R1 minus I2, right? The current flow to R2 is I1 minus I2. So it's minus. Also, uh, I should write in this form, right? R1, R1, I1. And this is. R2 and then I1 minus I2. I2 equal to 0. And for mesh 2, take KVL. What should we start? This is plus, minus, plus, minus, and plus, minus. Okay? Here. Uh, we start from R2, right? Okay, R2 into I2 minus I1, right? Oh, sorry, minus, minus R2, and then minus R3 into I2, minus R4 into I2 equal to zero. So if we know the source and resistance, what happened? We know this value, we know this value, we know this value, this value, this value, this value. How many unknown? How many unknown we made? Two. Two unknown, which is I1 and I2. And so we can solve for I1 and I2. Right? So we, we will know I1 and I2. After we know I1 and I2, we can get the voltage here, the voltage here, the voltage here, right? We will get the voltage oh, as well. We will know that how much the current flow to R2, what is this current? After we saw, we get I1 minus I1 minus I2 is the current flow to R2, right? And how much the current flow across R3? This I2, right? And this is also I2, right? Okay. And how much the current flow from the uh, water source is I1, right? This is I1, I1. And it's I1 minus I2, right? So, but the current that we saw is the mesh current that we define for computation, right? After we get the mesh current, we can compute all voltage across all the voltage across each resistance will be obtained, right? We can obtain voltage across the resistance.
Okay. Ah, let's see this example. So when you face the circuit with only voltage source, it's easier to use means voltage, right? If the circuit have only voltage source, it's easier to use means voltage. If you have voltage source like this, you use means voltage. It's better. But with the current source, it's better to use no, sorry, means not means voltage, sorry, means current, right? Mesh current analysis, right? It's easier to use mesh current analysis. But if the circuit have current source, it's easier to use nodal analysis, right? Nodal voltage analysis. So, okay, in this case, this circuit, right? We have V1, V2, V3, like this. If we use, if you use node analysis, it will be a little bit complex. But if you use mesh voltage, Let's see. We define I1 and I2 mesh current. That to be so. So we know all variable in the circuit, right? Yeah. Uh, in the computation uh, pattern, we, uh, we usually use clockwise mesh, right? Clockwise direction. Yeah, clockwise direction like this. Okay, in this, uh, for the first mesh current, I1, take KVL here, is V1, right? Then, so V1, V1, V1 minus, minus I R1, right? I1 R1, minus I1 R1, and then minus V2, and minus I1 R2, right? I1, Oh, R1 I1 minus I2 right here the current flow across R2 is I1 minus I2 right? I1 minus I2 here and we take this polarity here it's minus then for Mesh I2. Mesh I2, they start from here, right? We start from here. So in this case, is again uh, plus, plus I1 minus I2. Yeah. Or you can define this is plus and minus and then you write down minus r2 into i2 minus i1 these two terms are equal right right so if we reframe this direction we use i2 minus i1 this will be plus minus like this and we write down this term in this form the same Okay, be careful. Okay, be careful that we, I I found that many students make the mistake, right? <laughs> when they do the exam in hurry. <clears throat> okay, then next is plus B two, right? Next term, plus V2, right? Because we choose this direction. And this is plus, minus, plus, minus, right? And then minus R3 into I2. And then minus V3. And then minus R4 into I2, right? Okay. Then what are the known value? So we just substitute V1 at 10, R1 as 5, V2 is 9, R2 is 10, like this, and R2, 10, V2, 
ได้อาซีฟายวีซีสวานอาโฟอิสฟายแอนด์เดนเรียวเอ็งช์ดิสแอนด์วีโซโฟไอวันแอนด์ไอทูเก็ตดิสเวลไว้อาเซเดตยูแคนคอมพิวต์เดอะโวลเตจอะครอสอัลลิซิสเตอร์ไม่ยากเลยไม่ยากเลยทำได้เลยไหมมันเป็นความยากเลยทำให้ซื้อเครื่องไหมไม่น่าสนใจไหมไม่ได้ทำงานทำงานไหมไม่ต้องทำงานทุกวันไหมทำได้ Yeah, after so, if you get the minus, the 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 negative value is mean that it throw in opposite direction, right? In this direction, yeah. It's, it's possible that you get negative value. Yeah. Okay, this <laughs> this is two image. So we can imagine that we will have how many equation. Three equation, three unknown, right? So, yes, we we'll take more time, right, to do this. Uh, for example, uh, we have made I one, I two, and I three. So for I one, it's V one, right? Positive V one. This is plus, minus, plus, minus. And what is the current flow through R one? I1 minus I3, right? We do this, yeah. Right? It's I1 minus I3. What is the current flow to R2? I1 minus I2, yeah. Right? Yeah, we get this equation. For match two, is uh, here we. Okay, they refer in this form, right? Plus, minus, plus, minus, like this. So, R2 into I2 minus I1, right? I2 minus, that is, uh, the, the sign is minus here, yeah, right? I2, if you state I2, I2 minus I1 is equivalent for this direction, right? And this is the passive device, so it flow out from negative side. Then how about R3? Minus R3 and I2 minus I3. And then plus V2. Right? Because V2 is this dimension. And how about match number three? Here. Yeah. Let's say plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, right? In the direction of current, right? We define the voltage across resistor because the resistor, the current will flow from plus to minus, right? But for the source, the current will flow out from plus, positive side. Okay, then R1 into I3 minus I1. R1 multiply with I3 minus I1. Then negative sign here, right? Negative sign here. And then I3 into R4 with the negative sign. R3 multiply with I3 minus I2 with the negative sign here. So after that you substitute the known variable in this equation, you get this equation and you can solve for I1, I2, I3 and you will get other variable, right? Okay. <laughs> so, Let's study the example 3.9 by yourself, right, in the textbook. Okay. Then, 
if the circuit have Korean sauce, the mayo analysis become a bit complete, right? So if the Korean sauce is here, it's not complex, it's easy. Because in this case, we will know that this is, this is I1, right? If we define these two mayo, I1 and I2, we definitely know that I2 is minus Is, right? Because I2, if we define I2 in this direction, right? Or we know that this mayo's current is Is. We just define minus I2, yeah, right? In this case, Is, we know Is, yeah. Okay, so in this case, we just solve for KVL for mesh one. What happened for mesh one? Vs, right? Plus, minus, plus, minus. Vs, minus R1 and I1. And what happened here? It's become I1 plus Is. Minus of minus I2, right? Or plus Is in this case. Right? I1 plus Is in this case because we know that I2 is minus Is, right? We just substitute Is directly here. So in this case, we can solve for I1. We just we have only one unknown, which is I1, right? After we get the solution that we know I1 and we know Is, we get other parameter, right? Other unknown variable, right? Yeah. So in this case, we can solve for I1 only, only one unknown. Or we can just rearrange the equation to solve for I1, right? Let's see this example. If we have current source here, I is 0 0.5 amp, so we just know that this mesh current is 0 0.5 amp. Right? This is I1 here. In this case, it's easy, but if the current source is here, it's complex. Yes, our solution will be complex because this is not, not the mesh current anymore, right? So here, uh, we know that I1 is I, right? I1 is I. So then we, how about I2? Here, plus, minus, plus, minus, therefore, R2 into I2 minus I1 with the negative sign, right? And then R3 into I2 minus I3 and plus V is zero, right? This is made to equation, okay? And made three equation, I define plus minus here, plus minus here, plus minus here. Positive negative, positive negative. I3, therefore, negative R1 into I3 minus I1. I1. And this negative R4 into I3. I3. And then R3, R3. I3 minus I2 is zero. So here, right? Then we know that I1 is I. I1 is I. We substitute the known value. We remain only I2 and I3 as unknown. So we can solve for I2 and I3, right? Okay, so, so what I would like you to do is to check This is true to check about this. That is true. Oh, you believe? Okay. You believe it's true. You don't need to check it. <laughs> right? But I suggest you 
to check it, right? You check it, is you, you get the different value. What happened? It's not true, right? Oh, I don't think so. Maybe you make a wrong calculation, right? So you recheck again, right? This is the this this should be done. It should be done, right? For all example, right? If you do this. Uh, I believe that you can do, you can pass the examination. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> Let's see this uh, example. Uh, in this example, uh, uh, we need to find out Vx. Vx is the voltage across this current source. This is Vx. Okay. So what should we do? We, we will use node analysis or mesh analysis. Node or mesh. In fact, we can use both. You can use both. Right? But in the examination, I will uh, Define a clear instruction. So, to use node analysis or mesh analysis. So, if the equation states that you use node analysis to solve and you use mesh, what happened? <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> Be careful, right? Okay. <clears throat> So in this case, I2 is IS. We know I2 is IS. Then we just uh, take KVL across mesh 1, right? Mesh 1. So plus, minus, plus, minus. Here is I1 minus I1 minus I2 into R3. Oh, why? It should be minus, right? My, it should be minus I1 minus I2 into R3, right? And then plus Vs, right? Plus Vs. And how about this? Minus? I1 R1. I1 R1, right? I1 R1. Oh, sorry. In this case, they take KVL at match 2, right? At match 2. At match 2, therefore, this is plus here. Minus and plus, minus. So, we will get... We will get minus, minus R3 with I2 minus I1. And minus... I2 with R2 and then Vx minus Vx as the unknown here. So Vx is this uh, equation we can solve for Vx. Okay, just leave it here. But for mesh 1, mesh 1 is here, right? I have defined mesh 1 like this. Mesh 1 R. Same, right? This is same equation. Same equation. We rearrange mesh 1 like this. And then we know that Vs we know. R3 we know. R1, R2, and I2, we know that I2 is Is. So we substitute Is. We can solve for I1, right? Then we can get I1 from this equation. After we get I1, we we know that I2 is IS, we will get Vx, right? Vx from this equation, from KVL. Okay. Okay. Complex. Complicated. Right? Complicated. Right. Try to get I1 first, in fact. So, so this, this step will make us a bit confused. Try to get I1 first, then we solve for Vx later, right? By KVL. This is also another, uh, another way 
to do? Oh, homework number three. This is for your homework. To submit next time. Okay, we take some break here, right? Five minute break. Okay. Oh. Because last time we have homework also, right? Yeah, we have homework last time. And this is also your homework. Okay. Very interesting homework. Number one, no? One and two, I think, last time. You come last time? Did you come? <laughs> okay. Yes. Next week. Okay. Friday or Thursday, Friday. Okay.